Okay, um, right now I'm going to teach you how to put or to recover music from your iPod onto your computer, also known as iPod to PC transfer. Now, this is good if your computer crashes a lot and uh, you lose all your music from iTunes, and when you plug your iPod in, it, it will sync all the blankness from iTunes onto your iPod, and of course, you don't want that. So, uh,. People, they get songs from LimeWire or they use CDs. And if you use LimeWire or CDs, then of course there's no way of recovering the music. So, you know, you're going to have to download and import all the music in. And if you have lots of music, then that can be a big hassle. Or if you have an iTunes Music Store account and pay 99 cents every song, and if your computer does crash, you can always recover the music. But, you know, not very many people like to pay 99 cents every song. Okay, so I'm going to pretend like my computer just crashed, okay? So everything's going to be blank. So I'm going to open up iTunes. And, of course, yours is going to be blank, but, you know, mine's not. So you're looking, blank library. And what you're going to do is you're going to plug in your iPod. Okay, one second. Got to plug in my iPod. There we go. Okay, I plugged in my iPod. Okay, one second. This little message is going to pop up that you're not... Okay, this message, don't worry about this. Sometimes I get this. Don't worry about that. It's telling me that a song is going to be put in my iPod. Alright. So, you plugged in it, and it's going to ask you if you want to sync your iPod. And you're going to have to press no or press the X button. Do not press yes. Because if you do, it's going to get all your blank songs and place it right onto your iPod. And then there's no way of getting your music back you know you'd have to import and download every song again so press no and then once you just leave it like this that's good also I'm not sure if you have to but enable disk use cuz you know I don't think it really does anything but it can only help you okay so enable disk use so if it's not checked check it and then press the apply button down here okay so you're gonna see an apply so just press apply okay and if the message pop up just press yes uh, after you check enable disk use so here you go you just press no for the sync option so you're going to minimize this then you can go over to your start and then you can go to my computer and then it's going to show all the drives and everything like that so this is my iPod right here little David okay so of course if you have a disk in it's going to show the disk mine's empty so you want to find your iPod drive this is mine okay yours may be different so I'm just gonna double click it and here's mine okay many people only get three folder options and as you can see I get four and this one stands out it's a little bit transparent it's because um, you actually have to get away to show this one okay so pretend this isn't here right now so you're looking through you're actually looking into your iPod and you don't see the songs anywhere you can look through all these files, notes, it's going to be blank, everything's, you know, you're not going to find music anywhere here. So in order for you to get this option, the iPod control, you're going to have to go up to Tools, Folder Options, go to the tab View, and then you're going to have to go to Show Hidden Files and Folders. It's originally going to be on Do Not Show Hidden Files and Folders, okay? So, click that, and then you're going to click Apply. And then okay then you're gonna get this option and it's gonna be transparent a little bit I think Apple hid this file on purpose so you would make an iTunes account I may be wrong but I think Apple is evil okay so now you can get all these ones all these options and artwork and whatnot and you're gonna go down to the music folder here and wow you get a whole whole load of whatever more of files okay you get lots more files you can double click wait not that one not that one either okay here we go uh you get some files with some music folders in here and stuff like that you're gonna see the artists names see whatever main green some oldies in there okay now all these folders contain all your songs they're just like in a code oh, i guess these folders are completely blank, okay? Mine are, some of mine are blank. All yours may be full or not, so I'm pretty sure the first four, or the first three of mine have music in them. Okay, so, 
what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to highlight all the folders that have music files in them and you're going to have to drag and drop them onto your desktop, okay? Now, it may take lots of time. I'm only going to do one for now, okay? So you're going to see that it takes about 30 seconds for about every folder, okay? So right now it's importing one file full of songs onto my desktop, okay? Just wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, okay, and then when it's done, just minimize this. And there's your folder right there, okay? But you're, of course, going to have more. I'm just doing one as an example. You're going to double click it, and there's all your music files. Okay, you can double click it and, you know, listen to it. Alright. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to highlight all these music files, and then you're going to drag them and drop them onto your, oh, yes, you're going to drag and drop them onto your blank iTunes library, okay? That's what you're going to do. From the, from the folder on your desktop, you're going to open it, get all the music, and put it into your empty music library, okay? Of course, mine's not empty, but yours will be. Okay, so drag and drop it, and of course, all the artists' names and music, it's going to go back to normal, okay? Because this is just like in some kind of code that I do not understand. Okay, then you're going to do that with every single folder that's on your desktop that you found on your iPod drive thing, okay? So then, of course, everything's going to be like reset, or I'm pretty sure everything should be just about reset. But other than that, everything's good. Once you put all your music onto your iTunes, you can disconnect your iPod, plug it back in, and then it's going to ask you to sync it. Of course, press yes, and you should have no problems, okay? Because I did it when I did it. And if you have any problems, just comment or message me, okay? But please leave comments and rate it, okay? I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you, and good luck.